Student Dietitian here at Croydon University Hospital and as part of Nutrition and Hydration Week I'm here to give you some quick fire tips on how to stay healthy at work. Being a healthcare worker during COVID has been really difficult. You've devoted the past year of your life to your patient's health but it's important not to forget about your own health as well because when you're your healthiest you provide the best possible care for your patients. So let's start at the beginning of the day. Breakfast. I know you're in a rush in the morning but don't skip it. You need breakfast to fuel for the rest of the day Studies show that if you skip breakfast, you'll only end up eating more food at lunch and dinner. Throughout the day, try to eat as many fruits and vegetables as possible. I know you've heard it all before. Eat your five a day, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But it's important to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables of different colors. Fill your plate with color and do your best to eat the rainbow. Sugar is an important energy source in the diet, but it's very, very easy to eat too much. You might grab that sugary energy drink to get a boost at work, but an hour or two later, you're going to be falling asleep in your paperwork. Salt raises our blood pressure. The foods we eat already have enough salt added to them, so there's no need to add any extra. Not all fats are created equal. Fat is required in our diet, but just try not to have too much saturated fat. Think more avocado and less bacon. That's enough about nutrition. Now, what about hydration? If we don't drink enough water, we become dehydrated, which leads to tiredness, fatigue, and poor concentration. Try to drink around two liters of water per day. Bring a 500 ml bottle to work and try and finish four of those. And if you don't like the taste of water, you can always add some squash. You can tell if you're hydrated by looking at the color of your pee. If it's a pale yellow, you're hydrated, but if it's an orangey brown, you're dehydrated and you need some more water. Ah, coffee. The world's only socially acceptable psychoactive drug. All right, nothing wrong with a couple cups of coffee in the day, but just try and keep them earlier in the day so they don't interfere with your sleep at night. Because then the next day, you'll only end up needing to drink more coffee to keep yourself awake, and it's a, it's a bit of a cycle. For those of you who do drink alcohol, it can be tempting to have a couple drinks in the evening to de-stress and unwind. But in the long run, it only leads to increased anxiety and increased stress levels. Try to have a non-alcoholic beer or a mocktail. I think the key point to take away here is moderation. You can go out and have your sugary, fatty foods and wash it all down with a pint or two, but just remember that that's okay every now and then. But in order to provide the best possible care for your patients, you have to be the best possible version of you. I've done my best to cover as much as possible in this short time, and I believe that a few small changes here and there can add up over time to become bigger changes. If you'd like more information on things that I've spoke about today, you can visit the British Dietetics Association website where they have a wealth of information about nutrition and hydration. Thank you very much for watching.